everybody, this is Evan with TSI. Um, Dave did a video a while back about his thoughts on the Mose and the Gaunt. Uh, well, this is my Mose and the Gaunt. It's a 1932 hex receiver. Um, we had talked to, he, he said that it's not a very good shit hit the fan rifle, and I agree. Uh, it's very lacking in certain aspects. Uh, arguably, is uh, the um, ergonomics, which, uh, that's kind of a personal thing. Uh, the big thing also is that it is heavy, and it's bolt action. It only holds five rounds. However, um, there are decent for farm guns, or uh, if you have like a commune and you need to arm a bunch of farmers or something, it's not a bad choice. But it is not a good um, defensive rifle. Just bolt action, five rounds. Um, however, 760 by 39 is fairly inexpensive. The rifles themselves are fairly inexpensive. Um, so, this kind of goes off into another segment I plan on doing later. I'm going to build uh, three scout rifles. Now, for those who don't know what a scout rifle is, it is a rifle with a 18 to 20 inch barrel, which one, this one does not have, uh, a forward mounted optic, uh, usually something around the 2 to 3 power range, uh, and a 30 caliber bullet. Um, I'm going to build this one into what I would call a budget scout rifle. Um, I'm going to also uh, possibly make build a uh, lever action scout rifle. And then I'm going to try and uh, build a quote unquote production scout rifle, meaning get a Savage Model 11 or something like that and turn it into one uh, from the factory. So, plans with this one. Original stock is probably going to get taken off. Um, I'm going to shorten the barrel down to uh, probably 20, probably 20 inches. Um, mount a scope forward, forward up here. And uh, get all the metal parts refinished and redone. Um, and see where it goes from there. Um, now, my views on the scout rifle are not a precision rifle or... Uh, something that you're going to engage targets out to, uh, you know, five, six hundred yards or meters. Uh, this is more along the lines of your, you have some property. You have, you live in a band state. You live in uh, an area with wide open spaces that has big game. So maybe you want something that has a little bit more punch, but is still a fast rifle. Um, and Jeff Cooper came up with the concept, but I think we've kind of gone a little bit away from that. As far as it being a defensive arm, don't be wrong, Jeff Cooper is the man, but there's a little bit of stigma behind it. Uh, I just think it's a little old-fashioned. However, I've always been in love with the scout concept, so I think this would be a decent um, way to get into that. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, if you hate it, whatever. You know, I'm, I know I'm going to get at least a couple people, oh, those are classic rifles, don't mess it up. Well, yeah, yeah, okay. They're... they're a dime a dozen. It really, it, it's not a 1903 Springfield. It's a, it's a, it's a Nagant. Um, I've also been considering getting rid of this Nagant and going to an infield. So let me know what you think of that. Um, but uh, for right now, this is Evan with TSI, and uh, y'all have a great day.